What's the fastest way to learn screenwriting? The fastest way of learning screenwriting is very easy. Read scripts. It's that simple. So people who um, write novels very often just sit down in their computer and they start writing. But chances are they've read lots of novels in their lives, almost certainly. So there's this famous saying, you know, if you want to learn how to write, you just read, 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 and write, write, write. So script writing is exactly the same. Read lots of scripts. What I find really strange is um, participants in my workshops and people who come to my talks and stuff, I'm like, how many of you have read a feature film script? And like out of the 40 people, maybe it's a South African thing, but not many people have read a feature film script, but they want to write movies because they've watched lots of movies. So they think because they're a movie fan and they like to watch movies that they can write scripts. And I'm like, but you've never seen this document of a script properly. You may have read, you know, uh, transcriptions of scripts, but you've never looked at the formatting and the layout and the style and the structure and all this kind of thing. So I would say just read as many scripts as you can, and they're all available online. You know, there are websites where you can get them. And just, because I mean, I think that's how we learn. It's just from reading. And I mean, if you read many, many feature film scripts, then you'll end up writing feature film. That's the, for me, that's the fast track to writing good scripts is reading lots of scripts. And they're there, it's available. You can read the screenwriting books on how to write scripts, but really, if you just read the scripts, lots of them, and keep up to date with what's happening and the trends of the writing styles and how things are changing through the years. So, you know, don't just read Casablanca and Chinatown because there are certain formatting at a certain time. Read current scripts as well. If you're interested in TV series, read TV series scripts because they're also written in a different style. And then you start to see the writer's voice. And then perhaps from that, you can start writing your own voice. So I would say the fast track is just read loads of scripts. Then, of course, write loads of scripts. So uh, my first script that I ever wrote does not exist anymore anywhere in this world, I hope. There's no digital copy of it. It was terrible. Um, it probably had a lot of formatting errors. It was, it was just, you know, it wasn't terrible. It was just misguided youth, enthusiasm of youth. Um, so you've got to write quite a lot to get that stuff out of your system, I think. Or, you know, you get the genius writer who may write a first script and it's like fantastic. But I'd say write a few times and see how it works. Get feedback as well from people who are not your mother or your best friend. And, and then rewrite that script and then you'll start to get somewhere. Yeah, I'd, I suppose that's the fast track to, to writing. It goes without saying that one needs to watch lots of movies or television and be you know, steeped in that world. Um, yeah. And then to make it really good, um, <laughs> I was going to say read the book, The Three Worlds of Screenwriting. But what and I that's your book? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But what I want to say is tap into what only you can bring into the script. So it's all very well reading loads of scripts and writing loads of scripts if you're just going to write another um, crime thriller or you know so, something that someone else can do better. What can you write? What's the only the story that only you can write? The stories that only you can write? Or the themes that only you can write? If you can tap into that, then you are really putting something in there that is um, authentic and it'll re people will recognize it when they read it immediately. So I, I did a lot of script reading in the past and uh, for competitions and I, I've read too many scripts I, for, yeah, for my own sanity. But when you're reading them, you, you, suddenly something just leaps off the page and that's an authenticity. It's a moment of, of realness, a real character moment, a real moment of subtlety, a real location, a real something that just leaps off the page. If you can put that in your scripts, then I really believe that you'll have an advantage over, over other scripts. So yeah, read lots of scripts and write the kind of scripts only you can write. And what was the first script that you read? Oh, that's a, another great question. Hmm. And do you remember the year? It was probably quite late. It was a while I've read plays. So you, the first things I read were plays, stage plays, before I read scripts. Um, things like Waiting for Godot and these like plays that are, you know, the standard plays you read if you're doing an English degree or something like that. In South Africa, we read some plays. Um, and the first script I read was probably Cinema Paradiso. I don't know if you know that. It's a, it's a movie by an Italian filmmaker, Giuseppe Tornatore. And he won the, um, he did win the, um, many, many years ago, he wrote this beautiful movie, Cinema Paradiso, and, and shot it. And it's great. And I love that movie. And I think that was the first script I ever bought and the first script I ever read. But just the caveat goes, it was one of those transcripted scripts that you can buy. So it's like a book version of a script. And it's, you know, it's got all the dialogue and stuff and, the, and some of the action, but it wasn't formatted in a 
correct script format. I think the first one I probably read was Chinatown in proper script formatting. But I remember buying the book of Cinema Paradiso and reading it and being able to picture all the scenes in my head. And that's a, that's a real skill that people kind of have to develop. You know, you've got to buy the, you've got to read these scripts to picture it in your head, to feel what it feels like so that when you write it, you can make someone picture those scenes in their head. It's a, it's a different thing. I, I often say um, that for me, when people think they can write scripts without reading scripts, it's like going to a classical concert and listening to a piece of classical music and thinking, oh, I love this music. I'm going to go home and write some music now. And just writing music randomly with dots and squiggles because you know there's dots and squiggles and lines and just kind of writing some sort of a document that you think looks like sheet music and then handing it over to someone and expecting them to play, they're not going to understand. And it's like an architect going, you know, if you see a beautiful building and you think, oh, this building's really beautiful. I love this building. And I like buildings and I understand buildings and I, I like Art Deco style. I'm going to go home and design a building and you just kind of design the building without having looked at blueprints or read sheet music. That's why you've got to read scripts. A movie is not a script. It's a, it's a different thing. They serve different kind of functions almost so yeah so so you can't be frank geary unless you <laughs> yeah exactly you, right you know, yeah right right and the same thing you can't be william goldman if yeah william just... goldman just did you know did whatever he wanted really and although i do think that um yeah it's all about being able to evoke an emotion in the reader so maybe they could they could do that they already had a way of doing it somehow in their writing you know so that's yeah i know it's a well, I think people think of the notion of genius or savant or something, and they think, well, maybe I can duplicate the mm -hmm. same without having to take all the steps yeah. in between. Yeah. And, and I think, you know, we hear these stories of, yeah. of people just from, from you know, age five yes. being able to do something amazing. Exactly. And exactly. maybe it is inside of us, but it needs a little coaching. Or yeah. Action. I think screenwriting, though, is a bit of a craft. So you don't actually hear of savant screenwriters. Like I've never heard of a five-year-old writing a great script or even <laughs> a 17-year-old writing a great script. Sometimes you can get, you know, the woman who wrote Juno, um, I forget, she was quite Diablo young. Diablo Yeah, she was relatively young when she wrote that. But we don't know the back, I don't really know actually what happened there. I know some of the story, but it, we just, it, because it's a craft, it, it's like, um, it's like pottery or something. You know, you, you don't just, if you're a genius potter, you still have to practice to get the pot to be correct. And I really believe with screenwriting, it is a bit of a craft. And so uh, we don't get these savants. We just don't. We don't get the great 17-year-old going to fetch the best screenwriting award. Not yet, although it might change because the youngsters nowadays and the access they have to filmmaking ability is very exciting and amazing. I mean, they've got thing, phones, you know, stuff on the apps. They can just make music videos just like that. So maybe it'll change. Maybe in the future, the ability to make what's in your head won't have this craft in between step and maybe we'll have youngsters making the best films ever who knows it would be nice <laughs>